Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I wanted to actually feature a project that's going to be going out the door soon. And it's a vintage speaker 1416. And you can see it here. So I featured the design at least in a, a, a video a few weeks ago. And so I wanted to show the best way to explain this was to actually just walk you through a process where this speaker has a unique uh, option where you're able to actually run between passive and active. You're able to quickly configure the speaker uh, for either mode. And so today what I wanted to do was show you how to change the speaker uh, between the different the two different configurations. And then also I wanted to play a uh, soundtrack so that you have an opportunity to hear uh, the sound quality between the two configurations. And so to get started, I just wanted to show you the wiring scheme uh, that allows you to change between the two. And so here on the back of the speaker, you can see that we have the input here, input for passive and active. And that's a speaker level signal. It's today, at least, it's coming from a Hypex FA501 plate amp. And then above it, you see passive output for high and mid range. And so these uh, banana plugs and wires are actually leading up to the top of the speaker where you have the mid range and treble uh, drivers. And so the passive crossover is internal inside the base cabinet and then it's being outputted through the passive output terminal here and up to the drivers. Now to switch to fully active, I have a separate terminal plate located on the top of the speaker. You can see here, active output, mid range and high. And so if you want to switch to fully active, you simply remove these banana plug wires and then reconnect them into the terminal plate at the top. And so this terminal plate is actually directly connected to channels two and three of the Hypex FA503 plate amp. Channel one is actually connected to the 15 inch uh, woofer on the base cabinet. And actually you can see over here, if the camera <laughs> will reach, it's a, a JBL uh, 15 inch differential drive woofer. And so in either configuration, whether passive or active, it is still active on the base. And so the idea here is that the horn with the mid range and treble, it's a coentrant horn, is 98 dB. is to run a low power tube amp. So for today we have the FA501, which is a class D 500 watt plate amp. It's particularly devoid of any sonic characteristics. Um, it's a very clean, uh, so to speak, sounding amplifier. Um, however, if you want to use your favorite uh, low power tube amp, you're able to capture the sonic character of the tube amp for both the bass, mid range and treble. Uh, regardless of con configuration, whether active or passive. And so for those that love the particular sound character of their uh, tube amp, then this uh, configuration or speaker allows you to, to fully capture that. And so um, what I'm going to do is, uh, actually I should mention as well that with the 98 dB sensitivity, um, you're able to play at very high SPL levels uh, with even a low power tube amp. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, take my microphone here, which is what you've been listening to, and I'm going to uh, place it in my mic holder, which is positioned on axis with the, with the speaker, and it'll allow you to hear um, the, the sound of the uh, speaker in either configuration. So for today, or for right now, we're starting in the passive mode, and so you're gonna hear the, pa the internal passive crossover and how it sounds. And so what I've done is I've matched the frequency response um, with the DSP, with the EQ settings, parametric EQ. It has an identical frequency response and level uh, to the passive version. And so really um, you should only be able to hear the difference um, between passive and active uh, with this setup since I've matched everything else to the best of my ability. Okay, so I'm gonna put the microphone up in its holder here bit of a juggling act here sorry about the noise
noise there. And then I'm just going to uh, play my song. <laughs> Weightlessness, no gravity Where we somewhere in between I'm a ghost to you, you're a ghost to me Birds have you, San So now I'm going to uh, switch to the fully active version. And so I'm going to show you how that's actually done. So we simply take the uh, banana plugs and then plug them into the top here. And then the same with the mid range. And then I'm going to play the exact same song, and you can hear the difference. No gravity Where we somewhere in between I'm a ghost to you, you're a ghost to me Birds have you, San Luis Okay, so uh, hopefully um, that was good enough that you could perhaps maybe hear a difference. Um, so it sounds very similar. Actually, if you disagree, uh, let me know in the comments if you prefer one over the other. Um, so yeah, um, there you have it. Uh, an interesting, flexible configuration option that um, I don't know if there's any other speakers that do this type of thing. But um, yeah, there you have it. Uh, take care and have a great day.